Cherry Luna Classic just hit a major milestone. Let's talk about what happened and how this changes the future potential for Terra Luna Classic. We just had our circulating supply go under 6 trillion Terra Luna Classic, which has been long anticipated. People are very excited over this. Of course, we still have a long ways to go to try and hit the objective of 10 billion or so that a lot of people are aiming for, but this is a great initial step. Now, one of the big things is that the data was not showing correctly on some of these different websites. So CoinGecko, CoinMarketCap, because they were not referencing the correct information. So Raider actually went ahead, Raider from the Terror Rebels, went ahead and did an update so that both CoinGecko and CoinMarketCap have accepted his code for updating the total Terra Luna Classic supply and the circulating supply. This ensures that the data is being updated correctly. We had this not updating for quite a while, so we got a nice bump down right away when this was updated, and now we're under that 6 trillion threshold. Now, this is actually much bigger of an accomplishment than you might think. CoinMarketCap is notorious for having incorrect information on circulating supply, total supply, Supply, which is why personally I default over to CoinGecko. However, now that it's updated for Tinlunar Classic, it is, in my opinion, a viable resource to look at when trying to get more information. And due to that, we ended up on our website, Burn and Build, ended up using a coin market cap little widget right here that's showing the price, market cap, volume, rank for Tinlunar Classic. And then also we have this data tab that you guys can see right behind me. You can expand it, scroll down, and you guys can see we have the correct circulating supply information. This is really valuable because some other resources like LUNC Penguins currently does not not have the updated information. If you go to their website, you go to circulating supply, you'll see right at the top here, they're showing still 6.5 trillion to little classic, which of course we're not at anymore. We're under that 6 trillion threshold. Okay, so why is this such a big deal for our circulating supply to decrease? Well, it's quite simple. Circulating supply determines the amount of potential liquid capital on the market. And so quite simply, when you look at something like total supply and circulating supply, you subtract the difference. And then that difference in between them, that's the amount of tokens that are locked up and can't be traded. A great example is the stake Terra Classic that is being excluded out of this total supply to give us our circulating supply over here. And we have our stake ratio of roughly 13% right now. Right now, we're facing down the barrel of a bunch of major updates. IBC being a great example that we're going to talk about here. When IBC comes out, let's say that this 24 hour volume skyrockets because people are excited. They want to buy in. People want to sell on the news. There's a lot of volume that occurs. In that situation, having a low circuit supply is good because let's say for IPC as an example, it's good news. In that situation, now you have less tokens that can actually be sold. And so you have a large amount of demand, but a lower supply. Therefore, supply and demand dictates that price goes up. This could also be viewed as a good thing on the negative scenario. Let's say something really bad happens with Tuna Classic and people want to sell. Well, if people have tokens locked up, like when you go ahead and you stake your tokens, it's locked up for quite a few days. So bad news comes out. You can't just dump your tokens on the market right then. So there's a limited number of people that could in theory dump their tokens on the market and then another group that would then dump when they unlock their tokens a quite a few days later. And so when bad news occurs, less tokens could be panic sold, which could be a good thing. This is why it's overall really good for us to try and get the staked ratio as high as possible. A lot of other successful cryptocurrencies have this over 50%. So we definitely have quite a ways to go, but we're making great progress on trying to get this higher and higher. And there's great rewards to do that. I have right here the actual APR. I'm going to talk about this in another video of earning rewards off your staking. A lot of the websites use incorrect numbers. This one's correct. And so I'm going to talk about that in another video. But you're earning over 14% yield on your stake tokens, which is significant compared to what you could earn in a lot of other situations. And so while this is not the massive goals that we aim for of the 10 billion circulating supply, 100 billion circulating supply, these dramatically lower numbers, this is a great step forward and a sign that hey we went from almost 7 trillion to under 6 trillion that is good progress for us to make over the course of a couple of months so we should definitely celebrate this victory because we're also in an extreme bear market so it's not like we're having great economic conditions right now to allow us to see the supply drop dramatically allow us to see dramatic volume we're in a bad situation with the market right now so the fact that we're able to accomplish this in this current market environment in just a couple of months is something that we should be very excited about that we're able to get people excited enough to lock up their tokens and reduce their circulating supply. So let me know in the comments down below, are you guys staking or not? And if you want to stake, check out this video up here where I tell you how you can stake in under five minutes.